Zero, Whiskey Delta Delta, thank you, five nine four seven five. Okay, so it's working on SSB. I've got it on the uh, AGC control. Switch to USB. Back to AM. Mode control still just changes the bandwidth. Okay, hit the AGC button. And then we go into the BFO. Seems to be some sort of contest on 40 meters. This is connected to the MLA uh, Chinese loop temporary setup out here. But uh, thanks, uh, Ricardo. It's done the job by changing the switch on the AGC switch. I still have the strange behaviour on the encoder. I'm turning the wheel left and I'm going up in frequency. I'm turning it right and going down in frequency. I guess that would be an easy fix if I can look at the um, Arduino sketch. I'll just turn that off. But we've got SSB working which uh, brings me to another helpful comment that I had from um, just to find the uh, uh, gentleman's name and he suggested that there was a um, bridge um, on a couple of the solder pins uh, inside the radio and uh, that would perhaps uh, explain why the mode switch doesn't uh, behave as it should so that's probably the next thing I'm going to look at. I'm happy now that I've got the um, the radio working. Um, and I've got it working on um, SS, SSB. The AGC button didn't really do anything useful as far as I was concerned. It just switched in and out in attenuator. Um, but it was Robert Shearer, actually. Thank you, Robert. That suggested on, on his radio, pins 4 and 5 were bridged on the underside of the board. And he had the same issue as as I have with this. That could be the um, that could be the answer. I've got another one of these coming. Uh, hopefully in a week or so, maybe a bit a uh, bit less. We'll see if that works as it should. Hopefully it will. And uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna. But the seller hasn't come back to me on this. And do you know what? I've got it working. I'm not gonna bother. I'm going to play around with this. I'm going to uh, use it to learn a little bit more about uploading to Arduino. I'm going to look inside on Robert's suggestion and see whether there's any bridging of the pins or anything else that looks um, looks wrong. Uh, somebody else did come back to me and say on theirs the ribbon cable inside was um, uh, was quite wound up too tightly and uh, it might be worth taking the ribbon cable off and uh, just cleaning that. So I'll look at all those things when I get the other one and, and um, uh, confirm that it's working. But thank you for everyone that gave the, the feedback. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really wonderful. That I've got such a, a small YouTube channel and I'm really grateful for the uh, the help that everyone's given. Uh, Ricardo and, uh, and, and Robert, both particularly with this little radio. And um, other people have come up with suggestions, which I'll look at. But for now... Let's see if I switch back to 40 meters. We're down a little there. I hit the AGC button. I switch to SSB as I should. And I can I still get used to this encoder wheel going on the wrong way, but we'll come to that. I'm sure we can fix that. Okay, we got some in there now. Take the bandwidth with the Not too strong there, but seven one seven oh.
So you can't ask for better than that. That's working. Thanks, guys. Just a quick update. Cheers. Thank you very much for watching. And if you get one of these, they're, they're good fun. And if they don't work, uh, we're finding out how to make them work properly. And it actually works quite nicely on FM2. I haven't plugged headphones in yet to try the stereo side of it. But as I've said in a couple of the earlier videos, um, sound quality is quite good from the speaker. And I've got a, another video to upload of uh, me tuning around um, on this radio last night on some of the broadcast bands with it connected up to my um, my amplified whip. But, you know, considering we're in a really noisy location here, um, it worked quite well. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers for now.